Oh, ya zedi danga sinawa na kufako. Ok, katugende bugenzi. Greetings fellow Ugandans. Once again, let me introduce myself. My name is Chagulani Sentamu. Robert, also known as Bobby Wine. Also known as Musinguzi. Also known as Obini. Also known as Elakuna. Also known as Mujuni. Quite a number of names. Also known as Arari. I thank you and I welcome you to this uh, communication. With me uh, is uh, the Deputy President in charge of Northern Uganda, Mama Nina Zedriga Waru, Doctor. Thank you for being here. Greetings me. and greetings, and I'm very excited Great. that we are here together to make sure that, you know, having a feel of the first leg of, of our campaign, the presidential campaign, with all the brutalities, but we are going to focus on the acts of the apostles. What are the milestones? I'm excited and very humble. Thank, Thank you, you Mama. And uh, of course, on my left hand side is uh, the Honorable Jolly Mujisha, Deputy President in charge of uh, Western Uganda. Mama, you're welcome. People power, our, our power. power. People power, our, our power. power. I greet you all in the name of People Power. Thank you. It's an honor to be with you, uh, Deputy President. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to appreciate the massive, massive support that we have received all across the country, in every place we've stepped in. Um, we have covered um, 42 districts. Now, we should have covered more than 54 districts, but uh, as you are aware, we've been disrupted greatly by the regime. I would want to ask uh, Mama Zedriga to give us a brief of the northern part of Uganda. Maybe I would be even glad, we would be glad to hear that also in the local language as you finish. Please, you have a floor. Thank you so much. NUP and everywhere. NUP in Arua, NUP in NUP in Lira, NUP in Karamoja. NUP. Thank you so much for this space, my dearly beloved people in the struggle. Today is a very critical day for us uh, at the NUP. Uh, my, ours is to have a feel of where, how, who, for the last uh, how many days. We are humbled that we started in Northern Uganda, in West Nile, in Pakwach. We went to Nebi, we went to Arua. Unfortunately, I just wish I could be celebrating the massive support, but I cannot, support, I cannot celebrate this massive support without condemning the militarization. But I want to thank my president and the team on the ground the team on the move for the resilience, it is unprecedented. In Pakwach, of course, we opened very successfully and we went <coughs> heavy. I mean, we saw the militarization, Arua was so massive. What I might take in Arua was that the people power overruled all of us. Of course, we were maliciously diverted, blocked, brutalized to access the venues which our people on the ground in less than nine hours battled with the very malicious administration, militarized the system of where we would be, the final ground in Oli. But I congratulate you people for that resilience, the focus, the hope, the faith even the, road, the, the place that was given at Oli, we were able to preside over militarization, preside over intimidation, preside, and you delivered one of the best moments for us. You set the standard, and you actually invoked a saying that I usually like uh, when I'm training the alternative and transformative leaders, that when the world sits, that's what you told us in a ruin practice, when the world sits, you stand. When the world stands, you stand up. When the world stands up, be outstanding. When the world becomes outstanding, be the standard. And when the world becomes the standard, 
be outstanding and make it too high. And that is exactly what we did. And we need to continue to continue to scale up the, 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 the standards. One critical lesson we demystified the military. At by six o'clock, my president was our president was supposed to be at uh, at Olives, and he had been diverted in the rain. The people refused to move. Military was telling us, you know, they said we are not going to go until we hear because we know it is not by his mistake that he has been delayed to this extent in the rain. Our people in Arua fear rain, but this time they did not even fear rain. So I want to continue to say thank you, our Defoe Minangere. My taking it that when people are resolved, which they are, military, no military barrels will disperse the people. They are telling us this in action. In fact, I was even at one time telling people now we should start uh, moving. They said, no, we are not going to move until we see and hear from the president. And this has continued. In Lira, in, in, in Oyam, when I was arrested actually before we went to Apache, the people actually came. The communities gathered immediately. Power of the communities this time. We are in charge of this. It is not the military. So for me, it is in action. It is very powerful. It is speaking to us. It is shaping us. Even when we were arrested with a team by military, waving sticks and guns, all men, the power of the presence of the communities that came, women carrying their babies on their backs, that is so powerful. And it has remained with me throughout. And of course, the teamwork. We need to be documenting this. We must support. Look, but are you going to protect? I have thrown that question back. Are we going to protect? Yes, we are going to protect our boats. And we are working towards making sure that, in fact, mapping all the loopholes and mapping all the polling stations. So we have left, actually, the campaign because it is a done deal. We are now focusing on vote protection, voter safety and security, away from rigging, away from buying, away from intimidation, away from the sticks, away from the military. Away! We are saying we will deliver this vote. And we can do it, we are going to do it together. This time for the first time Ugandans have owned this process. They are not leaving it. They were not even telling us you shake the mangoes. No! You know, the shaking the mango is about pay us. People do not actually want to hear about that. They have owned the process. And that is one thing Noob has given to the people of Uganda. Power to us. So, Northern Uganda, we set the trend. We, have, we are very excited about it. We are waiting the second round. And we are actually going to raise the bar even higher. is not your struggle alone. This is our struggle. We want to thank everybody for that. I think you have a look at this. I'm a dear area. I'm a West Nile. I'm a Baki de Ba. Oru, Oru, Oru. Uganda, Oluzungua, Karamojo, Asi, Buganda, Asi, Marara, Asi. Power of Kina, a dear one in there. The bandanga, dear one, Nico. I a padete ya biskore a metiki ti tualo a metiki ti urikoko a metiki ti ansi o kosi ansi o kasi a metiki vini ti ada andro de anilo a parata niko andro de a letara Uganda odi dindre we want to see the new Uganda delivered in practice our reform a boy mate and please be on notice we are back on track and we are coming to Arua. We are coming to Moyo, we are coming to Koboko, we are coming to Yumbe. We are going to reach everywhere, physically and also by our voice and represent representations. Because you know time is now left very few, uh, very short towards the, 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 the elections. We totally want to be in every village. 
and we know and we believe by the representatives, people like Opingopi, people like Haddad, people like uh, people like Victor, and all the candidates, we know we are present, and we know we are waiting January 14th. Our default sorrow, Orio, 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 Orio. Our default, a poem attack. A poem, yeah. You motivate me. Dr. Alina Zedriga, when you were speaking here, my mind ran back and the sight came back to my eyes when you were behind the bars. But you were telling me, you go, don't slow down, you yes. keep moving. Yes, I was telling you, you have no business here. You, are, you, are, you, are, you have actually lost, you are supposed yes. to be in a patch. And minute. I'm glad you, so, you, you humbly... Ob I want you to know that you inspire me. You, you inspire the girls of this country. You inspire Thank the people of Uganda. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, uh, let us, oh, that was uh, the deputy president in charge of Northern Uganda, uh, Mama uh, Honorable Johnny